there! Today I've got a quarter inch impact driver from Cobalt that's been disassembled so we can take a look at the build quality and see how it works. Starting with the case, it's made from a glass reinforced nylon with a TPE overmold grip. The bottom half houses the battery connector, switchboard, and anti-theft security device, as well as the motor speed controller. Further up is the trigger assembly and forward reverse switch, as well as the little LED for lighting up your work. And lastly is the brushless motor and the housing that contains the impact mechanism, which I will disassemble now. So here are the guts of the impact mechanism. After unscrewing the end cap, the first thing you'll see is a set of planetary gears that serve to reduce the speed and increase the torque of the output shaft relative to the motor drive shaft. Next is the impact mechanism, which has a set of forward-facing tabs that, under normal conditions, are kept pushed forward by this coil spring, which fits in this center section here. When the tabs are forward, they engage cogs that drive the final output shaft at the front of the housing. When the resistance felt by the output shaft becomes too great, however, the impact mechanism begins to slip and disengage from the cogs in the output shaft. This retraction is caused by a set of balls that ride in angled grooves cut into the center shaft. Once it retracts far enough and the tabs skip past the cogs in the output shaft, the tabs are pushed forward again by the force of the compressed spring and they are forced to re-engage the output shaft. Each impact you feel comes from this cycle repeating itself over and over again. Just one quick final note, if you take the impact mechanism apart further, you can see the grooves here a little more clearly, but you will also find that there are a set of ball bearings contained behind this retaining washer that allow the spring to spin freely during the impacting process. I just thought that was worth pointing out from a quality standpoint. And that's pretty much it. I hope this teardown has helped you make up your mind whether or not you might consider buying this tool, and if it has, I would appreciate it if you checked out some of my other Cobalt teardown videos and liked or subscribed. Thanks so much for watching.